Yo, what is up, guys? Rezu joining back here today. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. As you can see on the screen here, we're actually running uh, that right there. This little good old jazz here. Uh, it's basically like 2.6, but it's 2.8, which is just simply taking out the uh, snow golem or ice golem or whatever it is uh, for a night, and that puts up to 2.8. And next to Musketeer, we've switched out for the Magic Archer. Now, I'm, not, I'm a big fan of Magic Archer. Extremely big fan. Um, I, I like his versatility compared to a Musketeer. Musketeer's uh, more uh, receptive. That's awfully loud. Excuse me. Rudely interrupted us. But we'll get into the game here and I'll explain some more. Uh, so, yeah. More receptible to the fireball. Okay, we baited that out. That's fantastic. And, yeah. So, again, it's normal to... Oh, that was a terrible play on my part. This is log bay. So, we just went ahead and wasted our only win condition, really, against this. He's already going to start cycling us. Which is fantastic. Now, I'm obviously going to do that. Uh... Already back to his spirit. Okay. And I misplaced my archer. We are doing terrible right now. I mean, like, straight terrible. Like, I'm probably not going to recover from this very well. That's one thing right there is the magic archers. Is, uh. So we saw right there the connection that he instantly got from basically the bridge. And I think it's right around about 200 and something damage. In total, we got there. Something like that. No, 4K. It's like 200 a shot, actually. I haven't played up against too much of this comp. Uh, the log. Uh, log bait versus this. And this is all he's really going to do here. Uh, he's already got his... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Oh, snap. Okay, so here we go. And this is where he's going to start really eating dirt. Uh, go ahead and use that here. Because he's about to use his bait, I thought. We're going to force this out. He's got his uh, barrel in hand. Okay, he's using the guard version, so that's interesting. Do this. Oh, snap! He put a massive uh, barrel there. Massive. Okay, we need to straighten up here. Alrighty. I'm not in a good gaming position, I'll be honest with y'all. Okay. I missed all of them, I think. That's unfortunate. Okay, and it's gonna hit the guards too, which is nice. Okay, this one's gonna hit. No, it's not. Wow, that is terrible on my part. Yeah, we're pretty much throwing here. That's not good. We'll get some chip damage up. And I'm gonna hit the guards. He's gonna start cycling now. We can't give him the value for it. Call that one. As long as the knight don't move me too much, that's massive. Oh. I gotta focus up here. That's a tricky barrel. Missed all of them, basically. Okay. I'm gonna do that here. Get to get rid of her. I need to calm it down. Calm it down a lot. Just wasted that. That's terrible. Okay. Do this here. Um, I'm not even counting cards. I'm actually throwing at this point. Oh, that was massive value. Okay, so he's got... He's just got a, yeah, barrel one good time. No shot. Well played. Oh. Okay.
That should be game here, yeah. Holy cow, okay. So I had to focus up there a lot. Luckily his Valkyrie was underleveled, so it helped a lot. Um, really fumbled it there a lot as well. So, but yeah. Um, obviously damage wise, uh, your key is gonna be your fireball log. Hog, magic archer gives it an extra touch of offense because we know really good um, hog players can easily just cycle through. Spirit, skeleton, knight, and cannon. And that's like a like two and a half, like two, like two point one or something cycle. So Okay. So I think we are playing a counterpart, which is awesome. We're gonna get the free damage. Let's see. Yeah, that's exactly what we're playing. Awesome. Wait, what? Not what I was going for, but we'll take it. We'll play there. Okay. We're gonna go hog here. We'll see what kind of defense he's got. That's that's plus value for me. And it's targeted on the knight. It's going Ooh, okay, so he's playing like actual log bait, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Uh, so let's go back to our cycle. He sorry enough. Ice golem. Or not ice golem. Musketeer, Ice Golem. He's already cycled back, so he's got that in hand. There's that. Didn't think he'd actually get the drag, but he did. Well played. Oh, one shot. Okay. She won't get the connection here, which is nice. Okay, great. So he's got Ice Golem in hand. This thing. I'm not too stressed about that, honestly. Because that will just die to the cannon. Even out trade. Alright, so we still know he's got Ice Golem. He's got Clone. What the actual. What? Am I. Oh, okay, that's what he's doing. I was hoping that I would get a connection quicker with the Ice Golem, because that does hurt uh, in the long terms of things. Okay. Gotta go back. We gotta focus back up. This is the first couple of match after a bit. Place that high. He does have that here, so be ready for that. Not sure what else he's got. Okay, I forgot. He does have cannon in hand. Annoying. Probably need to just start cycling and stuff like that. He don't have any spells, so I can openly just play um, magic archer here. Doesn't get to connect as it's hoping. Oof. He's got his mirror ready. There it is. So he's going for that. Okay. Unfortunate, yeah, that didn't well as I thought it would. Hmm. This sucks. Okay, so we know he's got his cannon back in hand. So, go back this way. Start building up a push, I guess. Musketeer in back. Do this number here. Go. He wasted his mirror there. Oh! Oh my gosh! That's game! Yeah, it's game! Let's go. Shout out to the Snapchat notification dude. <laughs> but yeah, I just have to focus there. That was really hard. He was playing extremely wacky. Wacky to say the least. And double ice golem? Caught me off guard, but you don't you don't see that. You really don't. So let's get us another good game in here. I was hoping. Um, all right, well, this food don't show anything, so this may be interesting for sure. Um, so yeah, let me get the free chip. That's 150 down already. Take that any day. My favorite deck in the whole wild world.
Yeah, shout out to... Bruh. Okay, we'll have to sack that tower, basically. Sh it's gone. There's nothing I can do about that. He probably has skeletons. The most perfect hand in the world. Well played. Well played. That man has the best hand in the whole world. Unmatched. Lumberjack. Phrase Balloon. Tornado. All in the same hand, basically. That is unlucky for real, man. Probably should have placed a better cannon. Instead of pulling it back like that, but we'll learn. Gotta get better. That tower's gone, so I'm not stressing about it being gone anyway. There's no point. Yeah. This dude has zero IQ. It's holy hell. So all I can do is just try getting rid of it. Take some free damage on the tower. It won't tower touch. Yeah. Unfortunate. Okay, I was about to say, if it didn't pull, it's going to be mighty upset. Alright, so we get the free damage in here now. I don't think he's got anything that's... Yeah. That's what I was figuring. He's getting just too cocky now. Yeah. Um, that's four down. He's got his lumber jack back in hand. Probably the same with the balloon. It'll be coming back. I want to say I could probably do some call out with the lumberjack here in place. Knight here with the magic archer, but probably not happening. Inferno. Interesting. So we will probably try pushing pressure here. What the heck, man? Holy cow. This sucks. Yeah. Okay. So he's basically just going to freeze my entire tower in a second. So we'll go ahead. I don't know how it didn't push, pull, whatever. Um, is what it is, though. Nothing to... I can do about it. And I believe that's game there. Okay, he can't freeze the magic archer here, which is nice. Okay. Okay, great, great. Um... Okay, it does pull the Inferno, which is fantastic. Okay, that didn't about land. I was getting kind of concerned. Crossfire setup. He doesn't have spells. That's literally all he's got right here. Oh, that almost didn't work. Yeah, but as I was saying this, he has no spell, so literally, this magic archer stuff right here is kind of slick with it. If I can kill that, that's massive, okay. We're gonna... Okay, not oh, quite. Okay, and that's game right there. He beat me fair and square there. Good game. Oh. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That was a really tough game. Um, I think he had a matchup there, honestly, a lot of flying stuff, but I could have, if I caught on sooner, probably would have put that one in. GG to that guy. Um, not much really else to say about it. Let's claim our stuff. Nothing good. Oh, well. So let's get us another game in. I think, again, that probably would have been in our bag if I, yeah. He didn't get the perfect hand, but... I did a lot of errors, I think, there. I'd have to go back and look at them, but plenty. Plenty enough errors. So, we got Kabuto here. Fudge, man. What in the world? It's all we can do here. We just made sure he don't have a uh, mirror, though. And Cannon does put a lot of pressure on him. Like, oops. What the? What? What? His defense, his tower push is gone. <laughs> oh my god. You don't see that very often. Now my tower's gone. Holy cow, bro. 
Holy cow. <laughs> That's all I could say. Holy cow. I'm confident. Bruh, what in the world are we playing against? Okay, so. Wait. I'm, I'm, I'm more than willing to do that. Get rid of that flying machine. That flying machine does way too much damage. So we spent eight there for his, like... Ooh. Okay, I was confident he was going to die. That's why I'm looking at the screen, bros. Holy cow. There's no way this is real. This man's elixir. It, four, double two elixir? Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's about to be flipping terrible, my man's. Oh, please. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. This is winnable. Okay. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Wizard. What? If he goes Valkyrie here, I'm just going to Magic Archer. And if not, the tower's gone. So we got to go. That's fine. I will take that. I'll take that. And as we see here, again, he's got no spells because it's a heavy deck. So go this number here. Now happily go cannon over here. Just to get him far away from our tower. And possibly keep my magic archer alive here. Yep, he's alive. Let's go champ. Okay. And now that he's got no spells. So we're just going to keep him away from our tower. That's all we're trying to do here. I don't care if we're wasting elixir. Keep everything away from the tower. Um, that's game. Fantastic work, I gotta say. Definitely makes up for our last game. But yeah, sweet. And we actually went up quite a couple trophies here. It's a couple good wins. We played, I don't wanna dunk on this guy, but that ain't it, man. 5.3, that ain't it. They're just manhandling people because you've got arguably some of the strongest cards in the game. Valkyrie, Skeleton Giant, Giant Skeleton. Which, which is just, she's not great, but she's not bad whatsoever. E-Giant, just still broken. Mega Knight, which, you get fireball damage on death, or drop. Unreasonable amount of HP, area damage, and very good area damage too. So... Yeah, we'll take it, man. I'm starting to love 2.8. I don't think I'll be in my main deck. Because, you know, we've got the bad boy bridge spam. But, overall, it's a pretty solid deck. I'd like to see other people try it. I don't think it'll catch on. Because 2.6 isn't really there. Here's is 2.8. And just the concept of just switching it out for Fireball. Given, I don't think the nerf recently really changed the meta whatsoever to even say, like, oh, yeah, dude. So, what if it insta dies to it? It's not going to replace Musketeer, but... Still think it's cool. Um, we tried it out. We've went pretty successful, but again, we are mid-ladder, I guess is what it's called. I don't know how it's mid-ladder. It's 5,800. It's like in you know, mid-ground, low-ladder. Low I can see that, but nevertheless, it was fun. Had a great time with it for once. And I uh, hope you guys have a good day or night, wherever you guys are at. Make sure to check out the description for all of uh, the good old jazz uh, subscriptions. Check, sub, sub. That's it. Just sub. Like. Uh, and if you obviously came this far in the video, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, it really means a lot. I'm starting to pop off on Instagram and Twitch. and Well, not really Twitch, but TikTok and stuff like that. But I do appreciate everybody uh, coming out and shows up here. But yeah, hope you guys have a good day or night. And yeah, I'm Razor Jordan. And I'm out, guys. Peace.